Sorry, we are about to take a shot. Actually, our second shot. Let's do this. You started it out. Do anything else? for today's adventures as you know yesterday we were unable to make it to the butterfly farm so we are going to go there today and then we are going to go to another beach i am no longer telling you where we're going for breakfast or the whole day lineup because every day something changes due to things being open or things closing early or the google saying that something is open when it's really not so we are going to just go with the flow and i will show you guys the adventures as they come They give you some spicy sauce and some garlic sauce to go with it. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I ordered french fries and a steak and chicken arepa. This is what it looks like. Yes. So, um, it actually comes with steak, chicken, and ham, but I took the ham off because I don't, I don't care. So let's see. This is a, this is like a garlic sauce. All right, so we are at the butterfly garden and basically it's just like an exhibit that has, you know, a whole lot of different types of butterflies and they give you a guided tour. To enter the butterfly farm, it cost about 16 or $17. Uh, we ultimately decided that it wasn't worth it. You had to keep your mask on the entire time and it was very, very hot. So we ended up just admiring the outside beauty of the place, taking some pictures and um, ultimately deciding that we were gonna just head on to the beach. Uh, by the way, you can go back as many times as you want for that cost. wanted this like I really was having withdrawals like I was going crazy and um, I'm just like I said I'm thankful for the opportunity and I'm trying to appreciate every single moment 
moment of it. I'm only here for seven days. It doesn't feel long enough, but that's what I got. And this most likely will be my last vacation of the summer. So I'm soaking in this sun. I'm enjoying this food. I'm enjoying this weather, these beaches, because I don't have this at home. And I'm going to continue to enjoy my week. So, because I mean, you guys know, I love Aruba. It is amazing. No, 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 no. That's not a shot. That's a shot. She trying to, she that trying is to get a shot. lit. lit. That's You're more crazy. than a Put shot? Put it down. Put it down. That's more than a shot? These are not shots. What Look are how those? tall these glasses are. What shot? What, what are, are they? they? Come on, come on. What are oh, they? Pour half of that out. It's, it's, that's like a, a, a drink. You gotta pour some chaser that's mixing it. Taco Tuesday. No, no, no not too <laughs> But for real, it's Taco Tuesday. And we are about to go get some tacos and turn up. I'm lit. So, yeah, I don't you know. Got, I didn't even get nothing to drink. We have an apple Ta in the house. Well, let's go back and get a shot. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it be when you leave your mask. You're walking out the car and be like, er, need my mask. Jerry from Aruba. Actually, the, the song from the owner, the name is Tom. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Good morning, so it is day five in Aruba and we are currently at Linda's Dutch Pancake Place. Um, we are trying some Dutch pancakes for the first time. After this, we will be going to Flamingo Beach, which is a part of Renaissance Aruba. Um, just a little backstory on Renaissance Aruba. If you stay at the resort, you're then able to go back and forth to Flamingo Beach um, as much as you want. But if you don't stay at Renaissance Island, unfortunately, you have to pay a little pricey fee. It's about $125. It includes one lunch, one drink, snorkeling there, a towel, and a place to sit. So we will be traveling there today and we will let you know if it is worth it, if it's not, um, and just give you guys a kind of inside scoop on Flamingo Beach. So I'm super excited to see the flamingos. As you can see, I am dressed to do so. I thought that this would be very cute. Like I, I feel like a flamingo, so we're gonna get to see. Oh yeah, they also let you feed them. So you're able to do that. Um, and supposedly they just walk around you. There's lizards, there's all different types of things. So we will see what type of things we can get into there. And I will let you know if the lunch is good and what the options are and all of that. So at Linda's Dutch Pancakes, they actually have um, mimosas and the Dutch pancakes are kind of similar to in America what we would call like crepes um, they're just not folded over so they have a lot of different sweet and savory options I ordered the bacon and apple my mom ordered the strawberries and cream and I heard it was very tasty so I am very excited to eat cheers to day five so this is a bacon and apple Dutch pancake side of eggs but the main attraction and they give you this very thick and dark sweet dutch syrup so.
snorkeling, you have to go right past those cabanas and jump off where you see that rocks. And that's where I'm about to go. Stay tuned. <laughs> our day trip with our day pass um 125 dollars was it worth it that's the question i mean for it being my first time i think it was worth it um would i pay that again no both beaches are beautiful um they have a lot of activities paddle boarding um kayaking snorkeling towels all that is a part of it and you get one lunch and one drink and then for the lunches they weren't like it wasn't like a little sandwich and chips or like things like that they had lobster they had fried snapper grilled snapper jerk chicken um sandwiches burgers everything that you could um, think of so i mean i felt like that was worth it um the food was very tasty the um the staff were very nice um it was very good customer service there was a lot of activities um, and overall it was beautiful it wasn't that many people here um yeah so i definitely will recommend if it is your first time in aruba to do renaissance and come to flamingo beach the flamingos were so cute they're so friendly we were able to feed them um the lizards oh my god they're crazy like once you do if you feed a lizard just be mindful that they are going to follow you around hop on you get on your chair come back and find you no matter what i don't know what it is they have supersonic smelling powers but yeah i i really enjoyed myself um we're still here as you can see we are getting that 125 dollars worth um but now nah, the sun is setting we are about to head out soon catch the ferry back and go grab some food and then find something to do for the rest of the night so Overall, I'm gonna give Renaissance and Flamingo Beach a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It was a beautiful experience. I loved it. All right, see you guys soon. Out for the night by myself 
<sighs> I'm going to oh, move the bitch to, to turn up. up. Going to turn up. You want me to go? You was cooling. You, you cooling. You cooling. So, <laughs> I did not say I didn't want you to go. I'm about to drink real quick. I made some friends, so I'm about to go hang out at Moomba Beach and turn up for a little bit and then come back and cool it at the pool and call it a night. Getting ready for day six. Oh my gosh, no, not day six. It can't be day six. I need to book another week. I'm about to call the airline and ask them next in my flight because I'm not ready to go home. It's nothing at home for me. So yeah, let me get ready to go and enjoy my nights. All right, good afternoon. It is day five in Aruba and we are about to grab some lunch. Uh, we had a late start today. Well, I had a late start today because of my evening yesterday. I think I was out till almost two in the morning. I ended up going to Moomba Beach um, with some people that I met and um, they had like a ladies night. So they had $5 drinks, Mai Tai, shots, um, local beers, things like that, Long Islands. And then after that, I came back, got back into my bathing suit and went to the pool for like a night swim. I didn't get into like 2 a.m. So this morning, it was kind of rough mm -hmm. but i'm good now we are about to continue our day um i heard bugalos was really good it had affordable lunches and breakfast so we're gonna try that we have a dinner reservation tonight for sure at las Ramblas. it is beach view sunset view um like a kind of like a higher end steak seafood restaurant so we are gonna get fancy and get dressed up um, and do that and for the rest of our day who knows we're just probably gonna go to Eagle Beach um, one of my one of the people that I met gave me some um, deets on some other local beaches around here that we may stop by and see so I will give you guys a glance of what we do and we may also ride bikes they have bikes right here behind us so we probably are gonna do that as well all right for the price of one. So I got two um, Miami Vices, which is pina colada and strawberry daiquiri mix. And I got another little island drink. I just wanna let you guys know, like Eagle Beach is so beautiful, it's so pretty. It's really calm. There's different places that, and things you could do along the strip. Like, I don't know what it's called, but the thing where they drag you behind the boat. Um, there's jet skis. There's um, a bunch of little different activities. Jolly Pirates is here, stationed here as well. Um, yeah, so we are about to leave soon and head to dinner at Las Ramblas. Um, we just basically had a simple chill beach day. We didn't make it to the place we wanted to go to because of timing, but as I always say, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> still gotta go to the lighthouse, still gotta go to Alta Vista. Um, what is it called? The church, um, just the sightsee. And yeah.
Ramblas. Um, I heard great things about it. It is a beautiful sunset dinner. So far, the service has been great. Our waiter has been um, very nice, very informative, very patient. Um, they have a house special of sangria for $7 and they have wine by the bottles for $20. Um, yeah, so we ordered scallops. We ordered, um, I ordered lamb chops. My mom ordered a, like a surf and turf with steak and shrimp. And they also have a $30 special where you can get an appetizer, a main course and a dessert for only $30. And filet is on there. They have the catch of the day and they have some other options. So, so far it's very beautiful. They have live music. It's just so soothing. And then to top it off, you have the beach, and the sunset right here. So really beautiful place. for our last full day in Aruba. Uh, we had a great night yesterday. We ended up after dinner at Los Ramblas, which was amazing. I have to say that again, it was so good. We ended up going to South Beach and we had um, some drinks. They were 45% off. And then we also had some shrimp fried rice because we were still hungry. Um, the vibe was good there. They played, you know, the music that we like to listen to. It was cool. It wasn't a lot of people. Um, and then this morning we are about to head to Z Rovers. Um, that's basically where they cook fresh seafood and I supposedly they just catch it and whatever they have, they just drop it in the fryer, season it and serve it to you. So I heard it was very good, highly recommended. So we're gonna go try that and then we're supposed to go snorkeling. Um, I'm not sure what else we're gonna do, but yeah, it's our last full day. I'm super sad. I actually wanna like extend my trip, but I can't so. We will be heading out tomorrow and we're gonna try to make the met the we are gonna try to make the most of this last day. Um our flight isn't until three o'clock tomorrow. Um the rental car doesn't have to be dropped off until 12:30. So yeah. Perfect. We did snorkeling. I saw a whole variety of different types of 
fish. So yeah, we are about to head back to the room, shower, get dressed, find something to eat, probably go out tonight, try to find something with something fun to do, and then get ready for tomorrow. Remember, when you stop at this beach to visit O'Neill's or Z Rovers, either one and if you want to go ahead and drive over and go to Big Mama's over in St. Nicholas. guys so it is day seven and we are about to head out to the airport but first i had to stop at shoko snack it was so good i definitely had to come back um this time i got the empanadas instead of the arepa because the arepa was just too messy um these are very good they're crisp they're hot and they have a lot of meat on the inside after this we are going to get some gas drop the rental car off get on the plane and get headed back to the United States so all right so we are at the airport our seven days is unfortunately over we are about to check our rental car in and then catch flight back to the United States we had an awesome time it was beautiful an awesome time everything was definitely great will come back yeah I definitely will come back too there's so many things I feel like I didn't get to do there's a lot to do here in Aruba um seven days definitely wasn't enough we did enough. a lot though we did a lot yep seven days definitely was wasn't beautiful. enough so i will be coming back and i hope you guys enjoyed this aruba vlog and i hope i gave you guys some really cool things to do if you have any questions just comment below you can email me anything like that if you want to know i also will be doing a full detailed itinerary of the trip to places activities talk and things like that um, for a small group so if you're interested in a